Hello? If you can, you can sit there, that's where we are. Hello? Hello? Is that you, Peter? This is Peter, yes. Okay, Peter, we're coming uh, from the... Just, just joined us. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, you make five. I'm going to chair the meeting tonight. I believe Damon can't make it. Uh, so I'm going to open the meeting at 15 minutes. The meeting is done. Um, just to let everybody know, we run our conservation meetings. Uh, and we follow uh, rules of order. Most basic rule is if you have questions, uh, address them to the chairman or the acting chairman. And uh, like they say at the town meetings, you can ask a question, but there's no guarantee you'll get an answer or the right answer. So with that being said, I'll introduce myself. I'll have the rest of the board introduce themselves. Uh, we have a new member here tonight. Uh, my name is Mike Amandalier. Amo. Emilio Perez. And Susan Cahalan. Welcome and aboard, Peter sir. Coffin on phone. Okay, so the first item on the agenda, uh, we will uh, open a public hearing. We have a public hearing that's been continued for a notice of intent for replacement of a failed septic system. 65 Hartford Ave. Alpha Omega Engineering representing Andrew Belove. Uh, the applicants here is Alpha Engineering here. Um, Go on to the next. We'll, uh, we'll continue. I've opened that hearing. I think we'll uh, vote to continue it. And, oh, I so move. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we, we're going to continue that uh, to later on in the evening. And if we don't have anybody from Alpha Omega Engineering showing up or the applicant, we will continue it to our next meeting, which we'll decide uh, at the end of this meeting. Uh, all right, will you be there? I am. I'm still here. That all right with you? That's great. Yep. Hi. Okay. Um, have a continued public hearing, notice of intent for construction area in the rain garden and restoration of a portion of the buffer zone at 47 Milford Street. WDA Design Group res representing Todd Sullivan. Partners LLC. Do we have welcome? My name is Brian Walmart from WDA Design Group. I'm Brian Long and Aaron Fuller just to re establish everybody. Uh, Men in Twin Drive In. Uh, I believe this is the proposed adult uh, entertainment center to the north. This is 47 Milford Street, the local site in yellow. Um, right, there was a couple of things you were going to add to the plan. That was correct. basically. The main, the main uh, question was on the grass swale for uh, and the wall detail. Right, we wanted to see a, a, yep. a detail cut. Bar. So. Did you send that in to us? Yes, yeah. We sent this in on July 1st. Um, so we have the wall detail with the three on slopes, the half 
a half foot deep grass swale. So one foot wide at the, the bottom part and four feet between the bed parking and the, uh, and the wall. Uh, we also added um, a rain garden signage and we showed those on the plans. We have three of them outside the rain garden. And we also sent in uh, one of the things, we walked the site with Peter on, I believe it was June 30th. And uh, we talked about snow storage. We've added the snow storage to the plans. And we've also added uh, three rain garden signs at the edge of the rain garden. So there's, there's a good 12 feet between the edge of the, where we're removing the pavement. To the, uh, to the signage. So, this plan shows the rain garden. We have the one, two, three signs here. Um, the grass swale uh, directing flow in here. So we're restoring this portion of the 50 foot zone that was um, disturbed. As you can see, there's a you know there's the high tension power. Here and there's also gas line easement, so this site came in restoring to the lawn, and then also we are adding the rain garden to it. Initial comments from June 17th, and also. Uh, drive here off to the east of the building or west, I guess. Upgrades on there just to show that it is flowing back towards. In the initial June 17th hearing and our site. Happy with everything that you saw? Uh, yes. I was surprised. I guess there's two old monitoring wells on the site, but that's not our business, I guess. The one concern I had was that the grading has got to be very precise. To uh, I'm not sure if water is going to come in from Route 16 or not, So, but it's a matter of half inches or so. Uh, but if they can assure me on that, or I, I'm, I'm good with it. They were very cooperative, so. Hey, we, uh, we added, there's, as Peter saw, and we saw in the field, there's, there's our natural uh, so As Peter mentioned, there is runoff that comes from a part of 16 out at the site after all the rain we had last week and there's no that channel is doing its, its job and sending it off. We're not repaving this. We're using existing paving. It will be repaved as this drive and again we back into the driveway. So, so the driveway in is not going to be no, no, we're just, just restriping the pavement along here and adding some curb stops. There are two breaks in the berm here, and that's... ...situation on the site, so now we're taking out a large area of pavement and... And that's a decision up to you whether you're going to understand if you don't have to, you don't have to. Uh, my only question is, uh, I think you've answered all the concerns that I had. Peter sounds like uh, you addressed any and all his concerns. Uh, my only question is, again, like I said, I understand uh, not wanting to rip out and replace that pavement, uh, but when you start bringing in your heavy equipment to do the work, and if that entranceway gets destroyed. Okay, so that would be a good opportunity to put a little crown at the beginning of the driveway to make sure that the water from Route 16 doesn't whistle in there. Yeah, they're, they're still on there and they're uh, actually going to be able to see it off the I'll put that in a minute. 
hard storage trailers. There were some big trucks sure. coming in and out of here. So sure. that pavement has been pretty well tested. I'm just, yep. I just wanted to mention it. We're going to put it in the minutes that that was a suggestion. Sure. So, uh, again. Right, they don't want the damaged condition if they're going to be having clients. Come yeah, I don't want water in the park. It's <laughs> ice in the winter. Right. And right. You do, whatever you do to stop that, we'll, we'll do it. Okay. It's just a bad part of it all. So. Okay, great. Satisfied, Peter? Yes, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve if no one has other questions, but. Uh, plan as presented this evening. Uh, Tim, you got any questions? You were... No, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Tim, you got any questions? You the former U-Haul. So they're going to... Uh, rental. Uh, I mean, Taylor Rental. <laughs> uh, they're doing is retrofitting this area for the dispensary 25 minutes square feet outside the building restoring the 50 foot no disturbance putting in the ring sorry peter i don't know what's wrong with the audio down here, take up the well, they, they can I can hear things. And I wanted to see a uh, detail on the swale. There you go. Yeah. Question? No, it's a very um, straightforward plan. <laughs> take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Peter yeah. votes aye. It's like, Susan? Yeah. Susan? Is there a yeah. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, next uh, item. Uh, 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 I'm not there, but I want to I'm still here, yeah? Yes. Can you mute, though? There's a lot of background noise. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's any idea what I got press <laughs> dial <laughs> star six. Star what? Star six, star six, I think. Yeah. And introduce Yep. Good evening. My name is Sam Hayden. SWCA. Be representing on all this project. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Al Esperance. I'm here with construction. I have to work, work on the Enbridge construction team. The gas company or the contractor? I'm a, I'm a, uh, a, uh, a uh, third party inspector for him. Oh, okay. Work with them. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, we just had a couple of concerns on the uh, if and when you, if you had some dewatering to do. That's correct. There were there were a few. Which could be. Right. You say we've had rain every day for, little, for the last 15 rain. days. So, sir, um, we submitted uh, this information electronically. It wasn't clear to me uh, whether or not that came through. So I have a set of uh, physical plans. If you guys would like to take a look at these, or to have them for your records. Uh, uh, otherwise, we'd like to keep. We'd like to keep them for our records. Sure. I'm not sure. Could I? Yeah, absolutely. We're in the middle of. Uh, of uh, reorganizing our uh, clerical staff, so I can't I can't tell you. We're part timers. Our full time uh, clerical yeah. secretary uh, 
moved on to bigger and better things, and I'm not quite sure if the uh, select board has replaced replaced him yet. Do you know? Anybody know? I thought they did, but um, I don't see anybody here. Nobody's contacted anybody. I'm taking the minutes. I'm not taking a paycheck. <laughs> person was on vacation and was coming back maybe the 14th. Oh, okay. That's the last I heard. All right. Well, if, if there's any questions, you need an electronic version, please reach out and, and we can provide that again. Um, there were three main um, questions that were brought up. Uh, one uh, was a request that we put together a plan showing the data from the soft digs that we did to locate the pipe. Yeah where the pipe is located and the depth of cover. Um, that's this first um, drawing here, uh, drawing soft dig plan. Um, and it's just gonna point out uh, at each soft dig, um, the depth of pipe. It ranges from about eight feet to around three feet. Um, and the thing of interest here is that no groundwater was uh, found when they did those soft digs. Um, now, if, if, if groundwater is uh, encountered this go around or if uh, a rain event causes some, some things to fill up, um, then there will be dewatering and we can we discuss that a little further on. Uh, we got a separate plan for that. Um, there was also uh, a request for some additional information about the location and the location and the um, depths of the excavations. Um, and so in the uh, next two drawings, uh, we'll show uh, there's call outs, locations of the excavations, and those are linked, uh, referenced over here to these details that show the depth of cover at that location and, uh, and the, the case scenario for um, So that, that's, um, I believe, addresses that question. Um, and then finally, there was the question of where the dewatering structures would be. Um, really small site and um, to uh, avoid with, they're gonna have a lot of equipment, a lot of materials. We gave them some ranges of areas that they could locate the dewatering structure. The important takeaway here is that each of these is outside the roadway. They're on well-vegetated upland surfaces, um, and they are outside of the 100-foot wetland buffer. So these will be the areas that are available for them to put the bag, uh, sediment bag, or uh, Oils are isn't it, isn't it gravel? Isn't it gravel? Um, I don't know the, the specific data. I know that they used an air spade and a back to, to pull it out, so that typically doesn't work with really heavy material. Yeah. Um, but I know, I know what sand and gravel is, so I don't know if you were going to even encounter water. So the buffer zone, you're so from this area, you're you're over 100 feet. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, just just over. Just. A pipeline that was upgraded about 20 years ago? Uh, I believe it is. It's one of the different segments of it, yes. Correct. Uh, I was on the board when that pipeline was upgraded back then, so I I thought so. I thought that I'm very familiar with Bob. Well, was very familiar with uh, On the uh, Atlantic Bridge project? I'm sure you probably. It's up to some segments. Uh, Peter, do you have any questions? I'm good. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Um, just a brief one. How many micron is your sediment filter going to filter down to? So, I, I don't know the, Does guess. the specifics. <laughs> yeah. um, the standard, um, there are two options that are typically used on these kinds of projects. Yeah. There's a filter bag. Mm -hmm. There's a fairly standard. Yeah. There is a new water structure which would be accepted. 
This meeting, my biggest concern was it's time that you said there was no water there to right now, conditions have changed. And I just want to make sure that you are prepared for any uh, any change in conditions so that it doesn't, a simple job doesn't turn into a catastrophe for you. Mm. Is the model number for the dewatering bag on here for the what, what they are or no? Um, no, there's a, a detail in the original set of plans, um, the erosion and control plans that uh, Algonquin uses, um, and that detail would have that. Yeah, it's not, it's not in the legend. Anybody else? Any questions? What's a dewatering bag? That you pump into a bag and it traps the silt, lets the water go through. Okay. It keeps all the fines. It keeps the fines in. Okay. And then uh, you got to keep an eye, depending on, they make them from this three foot by three foot to 12 by 12. To okay. 20 by 20, depending upon the. And, and that's going to be located in the gray area at the bottom yeah, yeah, outside yeah. the buffer. Okay. I don't know what they talked about. The water will go through. Like pumping in the yep. yeah. Gets the sludge out. out. And they've got it in an area that's heavy upland, that's heavy, heavily vegetated. So yep. Mm -hmm. It should be fine. It'll sheet flow back and hopefully not seep into the ground. Well, if there's no other questions or concerns, I'll entertain a motion to approve the, uh, the request. I'll make a motion to approve the project for, uh, what are you calling this for an address? Um, it, it's Tooth Thayer. Near Tooth Thayer, there's several parcels. Covered. Okay. What was the NOI? What's the um, address for the NOI? 218 I believe. Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve it then. Uh, Carl, second. Carl Hummel, second. Uh, so the motion has been made and seconded to uh, uh, approve the uh, amended plan as presented tonight. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It's a unanimous decision. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Peter votes aye. Yes. No, I got, I got them. Thank you very much. Good luck with it. have a new public hearing tonight. Uh, notice of intent for repair, replacement of a, an existing septic system and construction of an in-ground pool at 73 Hartford Ave. The number has not been uh, assigned yet. We have a DC number. Oh, you do? Right sure. sure. You wouldn't mind uh, giving it? Number 218-0815. 218 what? 218-0815. Do we have all the do we have all the green cards back from uh, yes. Butters, please? Sorry. And you are uh, from Civil Site Engineering, representing AJ Bond. Yes. Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, are you AJ? I am. Okay, and your name? Brad Becchioni, spell if you'd like. Yep, B what? Uh, v as in Victor, E-C-C-H-I-O-N-E. Okay. And that's civil site. Yep. Oh, AJ, would you have a failed system? Yeah. Oh, east side, I don't that. It's 
People look yes. Yep. Yeah, ground water on the set. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's a great system. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, for the record, my name is Brad McGione here from uh, Civil Site Engineering, representing the uh, for a septic and ground pool at 73 Hartford Avenue. The Board of Health has already approved this as an emergency approval due to septic leak. Yeah. Good luck getting that in there. I, I, I don't have a problem with, with the septic system at all. Uh, we can talk about the pool a little bit. We really plan on putting the pool in ground, above ground, in ground. Next. So both, of this, both the septic system and the in ground pool are located within, within the 100 foot uh, buffer of the on site wetlands, but this is, this is, this is, neither of them are within the. Uh, this is due to the uh, well in the front yard pushes us into the backyard um, since we have to for a tidal fire. Sure. Remain 100 feet away. But this is the first one? Yep, so here we have the 50 foot yep. in orange, and then also in orange we've got the 100 foot, right. and then green is wetlands, wetland line. The septic approved by the Board of Health yet? Yes. Uh, yeah, there's, I think there's septic leakage in the yard. Uh, where's the well? The well is right here. Oh, okay. um, it's like that center of the yard. It, okay. it takes up the entire piece of the property, so we're stuck. We are able to keep entirely outside of the 50 foot. Uh, we're closest to 50 foot point, seven feet. Does it have to be a pump? I'm sorry. I didn't, did you uh, yeah, uh, sorry. It is a pump uh, system due to it being a uh, race system from high ground water on site. Let's do that. Uh, that green line is the what? Uh, the green highlighted line is our uh, wetlands based on wetland flags done by the water baby. Um, I, I can't see and I don't have a plan, but um, the um, I'll just ask you some questions. So, um, the what was the groundwater? Groundwater was at 36 inches. The, uh, like right here. Right on. The groundwater was at what? Uh, 36 inches. 36. So three feet. Um, so so foot, what's that? Four feet of separation? Are you getting a foot? Of uh, yeah, we can get a waiver to three feet. So we've oh, okay. a waiver to two feet to reduce the uh, yep. reduce the impacts of the raising of the system. Okay. But we are we still need to be two feet so with a two foot. system. Yeah, it doesn't fill the backyard, but it's so high enough that we need a pump. Well, where's the uh, silt fence line or the hay bill or what? Yeah, we're just going to waddle. Yeah, hay bales, straw waddles, uh, runs from the property line here uh, to protect the shed, and then it comes up and this. I don't have any more questions. Peter, do you have any questions? The system and how old was the system and why did it fail due to high ground water? I just 50 years old, the house and the system was put in in 1970. That would make it 51 years old. Well, that helps explain it. We weren't so tight back then, perhaps. No, I don't have any problems. Good luck with it. With that being said, I'll uh, entertain a motion to approve the plan as presented. One once. Carl Hummel, so moves. Yeah, okay. second. Okay. An easy way to make the motion is to say so moved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Usually on the other side. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, a motion's been made and seconded by Susan. Uh, uh, any uh, who's going to second it? I moved. She Peter seconded. Peter Coffin will second. Oh, sorry. Now it's okay. So we've got plenty of motions and seconds. So <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any opposed? The unanimous decision. <laughs> Good luck with that. What's that? All right. Oh yeah, that's that's the vote. Thank you.
Uh, good question. That's a good question. We're in the process of uh, reorganizing reorganizing our clerical help. So, uh, uh, did we? Re did you just receive your uh, DEP number today? Is that what you said? Yeah, this was just today. Okay, so it is relatively new. So, so it's probably in an open mail for us right now. Okay. So um, it, it may take a little bit, but right. we'll, we'll get it to you. Just, if you get the, if you if you get, is it going to start to work right away? I'm not aware. Okay, probably. so if you can get this uh, silk fence in, install whatever the barrier is going to be. If you can get it installed and leave a message on the phone and then inspect it and and put the sign up. And then let us know, and then you can get all set to go. I sh there shouldn't be any problem. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, we have a public hearing for a notice of intent for the construction of a driveway and utility for access to a new house at one Quiscent Row. And the DPP number has not yet been assigned. Um, turning Point Engineering slash Civil Site Design representing Marco Lubeck. Uh, for the record, Travis Brown, Turning Point Engineer uh, here on that Oh, Wait, what's your last name, Travis? Brown. Brown, okay. So we have actually received the file number and the new cards. Are you living in the house now? Yes. Okay. But I mean, I know we're not here yet. You're looking to. Are you looking to visit? Yes. Okay. To follow up. Welcome to town. Thank you. Eight, one, four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, north is straight up. Over here on this side, we have Quisset Road, which is just up from the intersection of Providence Street, heading up Quisset Road. Uh, there's an existing house here. Uh, this currently is a vacant lot, a uh, wooded lot, approximately 17 acres. Um, you can see there's this wetland here on the property and then towards the rear of the property here. So what we're proposing is to put a 14 foot wide paved driveway uh, from Quisset Road down around that wetland and then back up the hill kind of to the plateau of this property where we've shown a proposed house, uh, septic system and well. Um, we have proposed two culverts under the driveway because there is some overland flow from up the hill that comes here. So we don't want to restrict that flow. Um, we've identified a couple areas. Likely these will have to be field determined based on where that water is actually flowing when they do the work. Um, we provided erosion control, silt fence and straw wattle here. And then also on the uphill side because we will be filling this area down here in order to get that pipe and get cover on it. So we're not actually doing any work within that wetland. We are right up against it, you know, try to stay away, avoid it as practical as possible, but given the lot frontage and no other means to access. Is that, is that the lot line right there? Yeah, so this is the lot line coming in here and then the lot kind of goes towards the rear. And then this is the lot line. This wetland actually runs off the property a little bit. So. What connect, where is it connecting to? Yeah, down the hill. So the it probably throw it. Yes, there's a hub is a driveway north of that, right? I believe there is. So this is kind of a low lying area that drains. It's fairly flat. So once it do fill up and then drain? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, it comes I think behind this house and then down. Actually the actually goes before the house in front of the house. In front of the house next. Almost very close to a line. And it goes under the, the road. Um, so is this the, um, 
Does this plot have a variance or? Yeah, it did. So we anticipate the utilities just being uh, electrical. I would imagine they would run one or two poles to get past that and then underground, but that's out of our control. Aside from that, it'd be a private septic, private well shown up. So we have a buffer in the back too? Is that what yeah, there is a buffer. So there's wetlands that have been flagged. Um, we're not anticipating doing any work within that 100 foot buffer. In the event we need to, we'd have to refile, of course. Out in the back, way out in the yeah, back. Yeah, so it actually, so this is the kind of the high point. It goes back down, and then after this, it kind of goes back up. It's nice back there, but it's difficult to access because of the wetlands. Where's with, Quissant with Road? Yeah. Where's Quissant Road? Quissant Road is here. Okay. Yeah, and then Providence Street would be down here. Oh, okay. Up here. to get back there. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Just the work in the buffer zone from the driveway, you know, most of this work or all of this work will be out of the buffer. Outside the buffer, so the septic zone. Yeah. Can, can you just point out the well for me? Yep, the well is back here. Okay, so and maintain. Yeah. So on, when you do the well, um, you're going to need to put, um, I don't know who drills your well, but when they come in to drill them, just make sure that uh, when, the, when he stakes the stake for the well, that it's the barrier is all around it because all the shavings are going to come out here, right up near the buffer zone. But yeah, you got to dig, dig a sump hole or something. I don't know if you can dig a sump hole up there, if it's all dark or, or if it's good digging. Dig a sump hole so all those fines don't go out there because that's where they're going to go. In fact, I've identified a second layer of erosion control and a slurry pit there, but I've been in front of the situation a few times. A lot of times they show up and it's not done, they start drilling and the stuff just goes, you know. So, Tim, do you want... Do you want the order of conditions to say that they were asking them to do the, the usual buffering around the well that drill site? Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we do it on all of them. Sure. Yeah. When do you plan on st starting? Tomorrow. <laughs> That's what he asked me. Now, we've been waiting for this since the end of last year. Uh -huh. But we're not in a rush. When I bought this lot, I told them I have a nice house in Milford, but we are ready to place out the order to finalize our log home. We're going to do a log home okay. there. Yeah. yeah. And there's one a little north of you already, right? Down yes, right down the street. There's yeah. one there, yes. Yeah, yeah nice. That's a dream home. Okay. A log home. So. Okay. And how many bedrooms? Three. three. Actually. Is it a three bedroom system or a four? I think it's. Uh, so this system isn't actually designed to the Board of Health yet. We have shown sizing I'm not sure yet. to accommodate a four bedroom like what we typically design for. Out of the wetland. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's probably 150, 175 feet away. Right. If things change and the so uh, soils are poor and we need to do something else and are in the buffer zone, then we have to come back. So you haven't parked yet, or you have? Not yet. Yeah. No, I get it. You're, you're here for the wetland anyway. Changes, and you have to put the septic out in the buffer zone. Right. You know, you'll, have to, uh, you'll have to amend it. Did he have any questions? I have one, but it's more towards sure. the four of you. This is the first time I'm familiar with someone who's trying to build a driveway that's actually within you know, zero feet of the of the wetlands is the we, we don't want to deny them the ability to use this property. But other than the two culverts, do we need to say anything what he should be doing to protect the wetlands from runoff from the driveway? So he has he has it on the plan. It is noted on the plan. OK, the, the solution right up against the line. This is also a pre-existing lot. So he, right. he yeah. has, yeah, he, so he has some um, lab okay. on it versus if they had just cut this lot out of a subdivision and they created the lot and they're putting it where they, you know, they want to put it, this is existing. So he, he, he has relief there from our, from our bylaw, yes. but um, definitely, I mean, it has to be noted on the plan and, and the, the siltation is what? Uh, it's straw wattle, so an eight inch straw wattle and siltense. Sure. 
All right, so in that area there, um, you might want to think about maybe just doing a line of hay bales just to, uh, for heavy rains. You, you do have a high slope. The water, you know, the rain's going to come down. It's going to wash it. Just save yourself some aggravation from silting it up. And, and in that area, yeah. you probably want to add some hay bale protection. Otherwise, it's going to bolt right over it. So maybe we want to make a note of in, uh, at the crossing area. Don't you agree, Mike? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah, and when you're cutting, you know, clearing out for the driveway and all this, the road, you know, the dirt's exposed and you get big dripping, so like we had. So that would help out with that too, as well from destroying that initial line of defense you have. So, it's the lowest. Right. So. Yeah, exactly. Like, wow, it's deep. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Quick question, Mike. Go on, go ahead, Peter. I can't see the plan, but it sounds like they've uh doing the right by the lot my only concern is that they can't figure out where the culvert's going now i can understand that if it's very flat but if it's very flat they should be able to put the culvert where they want it so i uh, i don't know if you can help me answer that question why they can't say where the culverts are going to be located identified based on the topography Change in All the right. Field. If they need to be placed in a slightly different area that makes more sense as they're doing it, then I would expect them to put that so that, you know, flow is being maintained through those culverts and it's not ponding up on the high side. Sounds like we need an as built after you're done construction. Yeah, we will have an as built. Okay. And that's part of the uh, condition or conditions. So that area that you have at the lowest point, that, is that the area where the pipes would be? Is that what that those yeah, lines are? Yeah, these two areas are the lowest points, basically, on so that they side. they'll be placed in that area. So we will need, an, when it's after it's constructed, he'll have to go out and do an as-built of it so we have the way it was built in our file. Okay. okay. We'll be out doing inspections, too. But. Yeah. It's, it's keeping the erosion. Your, your hottest thing, you know. So, you know, you may even get. We don't get half inch of rain anymore. We get three inches at a time. So <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a tough thing. So I, you're going to have to. Um, you'll be maintaining, I guess, is what I'm getting at, because it will destroy the hay bales maybe at some point, or you know, or whatever the backup is. So you have to stay on that. You, you have a large slope coming down to a low area. That's going to be so. Just if you pay attention to that, you're probably going to be in good shape. But it's going to be an ongoing thing. If it's going to be, if it's something that you're working at, unless you know, if you're going to go in and put the driveway in and gravel it and pave it all at once and and uh, landscape the slopes and get it all done fine and get it stabilized, but it doesn't happen. You know. Anybody else have any concerns? Questions? Let me make the motion because I want to incorporate the two things and make sure people can say whether it makes sense. Uh, that we accept the order of conditions, uh, sorry, the notice of intent with two conditions. Condition, first, that the usual Menden Conservation Commission uh, comment about putting an extra amount of buffering around the well drilling site. Mm -hmm. And second, to be sure to put in additional hay bale protection and uh, siltation fences when cutting for the driveway and making sure to maintain that throughout the duration of the project. Sounds good. Okay. So that's the motion. Do I hear a second? Second. The motion's been made and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Good luck. Thank Good you. Good luck. Let us know when you start. I mean, I have a feeling you're gonna do a little bit, or you, like you're gonna get the, you're gonna get your siltation controls out there. You're gonna have someone go out and stump and grub, blah blah. Let us know when you start and keep us abreast of the. Okay. Of, of the different, like once you stump and grub it and start and start shaping the road, you should let us know. Sounds good. All right. That way, there if someone. What happens a lot of time is somebody driving by is, might not see the sign and call us and say, "Hey, there's something going on next to a wetland." 
ahead of time. And say, oh, yeah, we know about it. Okay. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Welcome Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item number one. Item number one. Consider approving payment of $513 for the MACC FY22 dues. Um, Do I hear a motion? So we just got out of the budget, right? We have it. We yeah. should have it in the budget, yes. Mike, do you still want to think from? Yes. Yeah. Your information is there. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Oh, did I hear a motion? Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the payment for our uh, MACC dues for FY22. Is there a second? Carl uh, Emilio. Question. Uh, so what, what the, are you familiar? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually know the director and I'm going to lots of their conferences. I want to try <laughs> finding some time in the meeting so that you can pretty much introduce yourself to us and yeah. let us know experience with CONCOM or whatever, but mm -hmm. it, this allows us to take, uh, to go to their conferences right. and take classes and whatnot. Yeah. Right. And you'll get a nice little card. Yeah, I've been to the conferences before. Oh, so okay. Not this past year, because. Uh, I, I would suggest that you take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just looking at their uh, textbook, so I know that many of the uh, Great. members. So. They're big oh, online. They're, they're big online oh, thing. <laughs> Oh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Unanimous to pay the dues. Mr. Chair, act. Yes. Yes, right. Well, now, Mr. Chair. I'll, I'll make sure people sign it before they walk out. Um, we also have a second payment that would be fall under not, antici not anticipated in advance of the meeting. We have our, our, our newspaper advertising bill for $104.96, if we can approve that. Okay. Uh, you have a motion to pay that bill? I so move. Sec any second? Second. Okay. Emilio okay. seconds. Motion's been... Uh, Made and seconded to pay the bill, pay the newspaper ad bill. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Peter opposed? says aye. Thank you, Peter. Question the process for this. Sure. Do you normally vote on everything like that, or just do you allow your clerk to sign those sort of things? Uh, the, the clerk will, will bring it up to the board. And make us aware of what you know, and then I think he did. Yeah. He authorizes it after, but we do okay. we do discuss it. We we discuss it, but since we're in the middle of you want to kind of okay. transit yeah. transition, and we should probably plus we uh, clerk isn't here. Right. Okay. Our 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 line item in the town meeting is short, so we want to make sure everything that comes out of it, we talk about it. So everything should go to the board right now until. Yep. And again, once we, uh, the previous secretary was with us for a long time, so. Pulling in. So I was oh. getting two extra hours just to open the mail and like do be the pound for bill. Yeah. Um, I have no idea if that will continue or if this new person is just going to. Interested in the, in, the, in the spot? I don't have the hours. for this miscellaneous town maintenance tech stuff. So the two was just a bit. does have a, another life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think, unfortunately, I think CONCOM is, is a fairly technical thing. There's a lot of paperwork. He's trying to rope them in, Mike, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Talk him into paying me real money, then we'll... Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think I can do what you need. Hmm. Well, we appreciate yeah. doing what, yeah, thank you. what it is you're doing to help out. Um, we almost had them. <laughs> Set the hook out. Are these things that you signed before yeah. Cherry? You already do the meeting minute.
Sure. So, um, so, are you guys here for uh, an address? Yeah, I was just going to say something. <laughs> um, so, I live at 13 Downing Street. Okay. And uh, I have to make a request because we wanted to do it above ground home. Oh, okay. I, did. I had Damon. a conversation with Damon. That's right. You can call me on it. Okay. Okay. So, you said that we needed to come here. Do you, do you, want, do you want to come up and explain what, what you're doing? You can come on up and sit at the, the desk here if you'd like. So you're at 13 Bellingham, right? Correct. Right. Above ground or in ground? Above ground. So we don't have um, a plan. You don't have uh, we don't, a We didn't know what to bring us. Yeah, we didn't know what to yeah. bring. Um, we did buy our house from Damon. He is oh, the one that built oh, that car, oh, our yeah. house. I know, I know which one it is. Okay. Um, so the, he told us to come here because we have wetland behind our land, right. so that's why he told us to come in um, and I guess talk about it. Um, so, okay. so we don't have any plans at, at our disposal right now of your existing conditions. Okay. Um, did you did you provide any the above sketch? ground pool? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> above ground. Okay. Do you know where your, your wetland line is in the back? Uh, what do you mean, like? Uh, Thirteen Bellingham. Yes. Right? Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. So where we want to put the pool, it will be like more than a hundred feet from the wetland. Okay. And it's going to be an 18 feet. Can you get it up ground. on uh, the Massachusetts? He's on interactive maps. It shows the wet. If you go on uh, Massachusetts interactive. Yeah, let me. Yeah, that'll pull it up. Uh, well, well, it's an above ground pool. Yeah. So basically, they're just going to. You're just going to. Is there a is it a level area where you want? I to just have to scrape up a little bit on them. Because I don't want to be too close to my house either. Like, I'm going to live about, uh, say, 25 feet over my house. Okay, so looking at your house from mm -hmm. the front, I know what the property is. Right. The garage is on the right. It's going to be yeah. right behind it's the, the garage. Behind the garage, yes. That's the furthest point from the wetland then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the furthest one, yeah. yeah. It's about another. Right. I see. I'll, I know, because the wetland's kind of close on the far end. Far end, yes. Right. Yeah, I, don't, <clears throat> I don't see a problem. Okay. All right, so um, you're just going to scrape up the loop Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. sand down. Even we call the jig safe because um, we have yeah, like, the, okay. the well. How far from the back are you going? Uh, I'd say about 25 feet. Okay. Yeah. okay. <clears throat> um, I don't see a problem. Yeah. Um, do, do you, um, so the material that you scrape up, you're not going to go dump that in the wetland? We'll, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah. whatever I'm going to scrape up, I'm going to just put on. Behind the garage? Just be, not, not behind, just like level up oh, a little bit, yeah. Because yeah. you're going to put more sand, yes, yeah, oh, so just okay. to make a nice okay. level. Yeah. How big's the pool? You're thinking about 18, yeah, 15, 18 feet, yeah. Yeah. Are they already asked? I've been asked. You're coming, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, to take any action. Oh, so it's a determination. Yes. Okay. So uh, okay. So you can point at. See the uh, the last structure there. Uh huh. Uh, see that's the garage right there. So that's where they want to put it, just behind the garage. Yeah, which is the furthest point from the left. Exactly right there. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, so um, I'll make a. Um, Motion for uh, negative determination for uh, 13 Bellingham Street to, to uh, put an above ground pool in behind the garage. Motion's been made. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Uh, Peter, do you have any other questions? Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Peter says aye. Thank you, Peter. Uh, any opposed? Unanimous decision. You're, you're all set. Yep. Aye. Thank you very much. Uh, so just be mindful of the fill, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we, the, when we went to go buy the pool, they did say there's a special filter we have to buy for the, for the water. If, because, if you need it, yeah. Okay. Because of the wetland, so okay. we, everything's okay. I guess they knew what they were doing. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> All okay. right. Good Thank night. you so much. Enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. I have a question for the committee. Myself, David Stewart. I reside at Sixth Cemetery Street. And some
I know. I know. Yeah, I know. I also own 10 beasts one day. Are you, are you here about the uh, what you called me about? Yes. Okay, so I did have a conversation with Damon, yep. and I don't, I don't see it on here, but I did mention it to him. Um, so um, he um, he did call in and was concerned about uh, an abutting neighbor that has cut a road, a dirt road in behind his house, and he's how far from the... Um, Within 30 to 50 feet. Okay. And downhill. Yeah. You get the river going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And a downhill slope that probably pitches somewhere uh, 50 feet from the road down to the river. Okay. Um, so we're not allowed to go on anyone's property unless we're invited on. You know, I don't know if we could see it from your property, but we're not allowed to go I on anyone's pictures. You have pictures. I spoke with Dan Tuesday. He explained. You couldn't go on the property. Okay. Right. So my next question is, how does the committee go about finding out the violation? So, okay, so if you're willing to invite someone down on your property and it can be viewed on your property, then that's that's perfectly that's perfectly that. okay. Um, so, did you do you have any? Fo did can yes. you provide us with some photos? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you can email some photos as well, and um, the property in question that is doing the work is what's the address? It's Ten Swandale Drive. Ten Swandale. Our assessor. Okay. So, so I think he knows the rules well. Okay. All right. Um, oh, it is on here. I'm sorry. We were going to get to that. Yeah, so it, <laughs> yeah it is on this. It's on there, but I. I can you I, pull up? Um, can you pull up Ten Swandale? Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, cool. So this property is owned by Ken. Um, Ken O'Brien. Ken O'Brien. Okay. And he's cutting a road in. Is that what you? There's been activity down there since last fall. He's disturbed the banking, probably dug into it five feet. Between Cemetery Street, put in Swan Hill Drive and built okay. that. So I have all the topography, all the original site plan, shows the topography. I don't even think he's in his lot line. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say his lot line stops. It looks like I don't know, 50, 75 feet of muddy brook. Yeah. Is he off his land? Do you think? Yeah, I think he's. Whose land? Whose land is that on Cahill. the other? Okay. It's an old stone bridge down the back. Okay. Uh, no old boundary. Okay. And from what I can see, I believe he pushed it over into his buddy neighbors. Nice. So, what, what is your property that you're going to allow people to to look to be on to look at those? Well, I live at Six Cemetery Street. Okay. And I also own Ten B Swandale. Okay. Is there a house on Ten B Swandale? No. The no. farm. Okay. So, do we want to set up? Okay. Do we want to set up a time for people to go out and and? So Ten Swandale. Now, if I look at oh, that cemetery. I'm sorry. So what number Swandale is he? Ten. So the the last looking to the to your map there, come down a little, you could stop it right there. It says, so it's that's ten. He's four. No? No. What he's he might be a mailing address versus a lot of Yeah, right. is he six is he six? He's six on that plan. On that see that? Because that's a greenhouse, isn't it, on there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That that's the problem. It's saying six one. No, but okay, right. That would be the mailing address. So call it by the lot number. Oh, okay, okay. So um, I see his his back lot, and it looks like that lot line is well into the. Th this isn't perfectly accurate as far as the wetlands go. This is this isn't. It's gospel. pretty accurate. It, but it's not gospel, but it's not gospel. But, I, but that doesn't matter. So where would you say on that map, on that so plan, where the, the driveway far, is? The far right corner of his lot. To the far right, um, the back lot line, far all right. the way down that line. Yeah. Down. Keep in mind, it's a downhill slope. Okay. So he cut in a gravel road down that banking and moved all the material around. Going where? Going down to the brook. What, down where? He, yeah, where he, you know, he just, they do some uh, landscaping company. They're a landscaping company, which I could get a hoot about. 
So they're splitting wood and piling it up down, level down an area down there where he goes in with the trucks and uh, is piling up firewood. How far from the Muddy Brook do you think he is, where he's got that clearing area or whatever? Really? Oh, what I went through when I had, when I built the house for the order of conditions. Yeah. Well, that's a I'm Muddy Brook well. is a perennial stream. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you have you talked with the owner? Uh, no, I don't. I don't talk to him. Uh, not not for any reason. But I there's been a lot of material moved around. I reached out to Tim. Yep. And, and I, I, I called Damon on it. And I called yep. the yeah. town. Uh, that's why it's on. Conservation. That, that's why it's on here. Uh, told him my name, my address. We better get this thing. So started. so I think um, what we need to do is um, send Mr. O'Brien a letter and invite him to a meeting. Um, but maybe we should go out and take a look first, okay? So um, when I'll fly a drone over there. I was going to do it tomorrow because I'm pretty. If you if you want to if you want to do that, you can yeah, definitely yeah. email that. You can email us the link. Yeah, we we can take problem. drone pictures. Yeah. yeah just, look, you're entitled to do what you can, but go through the process. No, no, I get it. You you went well, through the process. Right? Outside of the buffer. Okay. If you can uh, provide us with a video that would save us the um, the the trip, yeah. and we, we get them all the time. So I'm taking a trip too. Yeah. If, if you um, if you would forward that to the conservation uh, email, Whoa. and um, that way we can all take a look at it, and then we can you know take it from there. Okay. Because I know some of the other process that people went through in time. No, no. Has to do it. Yeah. No. When you when you start digging, that's that's a perennial stream, so there's a, even more restriction. There's more protection. Look, I got shut down for variance two years ago because they said I was within 200 feet of that broken. Yeah. Well, the 200 foot buffer, and then there's a riparian. You know, mm -hmm. 100 foot riparian, then 200. You're only allowed to disturb a small amount of of the 200 foot. So never mind the 100. Well, my my uh, information tells me with the Rivers Act, anything you do within 200 feet of that book, that's you know, in for, you're exactly right. The committee, you yep. Know, so exactly. so forth. yep. So if you can provide us with that, so we can um, then um, move forward with it. Right. Thanks okay. for hearing my uh, thank you. Complaint. Thank you. So I'll put it that way. It is, and um, I'll be in touch. Thank okay. You. Um, I'd like you to put Sandy. Yeah. I'd like to put something in. Okay, never mind. And you're welcome. Any money, you just come down and, you know, uh, generally my son's working on the farm on my wife and just tell them who they are, they, who you are, and they know what's going on. So they're more than welcome to come down and look around. Okay. Um, I'd like to get an authorization to whoever our clerk is, if they're back from vacation. If the drone footage shows up and is reviewed by us, if we could then say right now at this meeting that people viewing the drone footage will tell the clerk to send the letter to the homeowner, to the property owner, rather than waiting well, until our next meeting to decide to send I, the letter. I think we we can authorize the new clerk to send the letter and invite yeah. the property I, owner. I, I think we should. Whether we if, he's doing work, or not, if he's doing work within the 200 foot, and it, uh, 200 I mean, foot would be almost up to the back of this house. So, Like I said, I know what I went through when I built the house, because if you measure it in a straight line, never mind down the slope. So, no, I mean, yeah. it's uh, well within so, yeah, we'll, the area. We'll send the letter off. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Anytime okay. you try to get on and check it out, send us a picture. Yeah. I'll see the town uh, on the website. I can upload the picture um, and send it. You said, so, uh, um, well, this is what I was about to ask Dan. Who is currently receiving? Who's getting, who is checking? Who, who's checking the mailbox? Uh, Concom at, at Menden.com. Email. Email goes to Dan. To who? Dan. Okay, so Damon's going to okay. So you it. can send it to Damon's uh, town Con -con town email. No, send send it to Concom, which is the email on our web page, and then Damon will okay. read it and send it okay. to the rest of okay. us. So normally, yep. Bill would yep. get right. the email, Sorry. but I'm make sure someone was checking that mailbox. Okay, easy enough. All right, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Have a good night.
didn't accept the minute minute chat from the other meeting. No, not Carl Hummel, I move we accept the minutes of May 20th. I have a second. Good. Emilia. Okay. Aye. 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 Peter says aye. Thank you, Peter. Move we accept the meeting minutes of June 17th. Do we have a second? I will second that. Everyone's getting in the minutes this time. <laughs> uh, motion to be made and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Uh, okay, what do we have left? Uh, jurisdictional project determinations, but that's just we we say yeah we saw them. Yeah, eight Pond Street with an addition. Seventy-eight know that. When they're on here, that means that they were visited. Okay. Any problem? Those? No, he that he went to them, so that's why he put them on. Anybody else have anything? Yeah, Mike, under old business. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, Cape Road. Uh, I think it's worthy of a site visit to go out with the owner to both make sure. I'm sure the, the erosion control that he did on his site was good, but none of us have really gone to see where the silt ended up. And I'm concerned that there's a lot of it. And that was six months ago now, and it's going to be covered up. And I guess we could ignore it and hope it goes away, but that doesn't sit right with me. So I'd like to get back to doing site visits. And he was okay with any day. Uh, and it looked like Saturday might be the best for us, but you, you pick it, I'm available whenever. Is he going to open order the conditions? He has no order of conditions. Oh, oh, oh. Which address on Cape Road? It's Gasco. It's the uh, a road that was put in with no plans, evidently. So it's in between, right next to the gas station. There's two Gascos. It's a, a drive. I forget the address. 47 or something? 23. Maybe 30. Uh, Peter, so um, is... Um... Is the gentleman, the owner, going to be present? Does he know we're coming? Or? He was at our last meeting, and he invited us to come down at any time. Mike uh, said, well, Saturday was the only convenient time uh, for him. He said any time Monday through Friday, but Saturday worked best for us, and then Saturday was going to be July 4th, and we never scheduled it. So I would like to schedule it at our convenience, and he seemed very amenable at any time. Are you saying you want to go this Saturday or you want to contact them this week and go next Saturday? I just want a, a date appointment made. I think he's amenable, but I guess we should confirm it. But let's pay yeah, yeah. us that's, and that's what's good, good for that. us. I don't want to go on his property unless he's there. But um, why don't we reach out to him this week and see if we can get a site walk for next week? I'll talk to Damon. That would be good. So people are available next Saturday tentatively if he's OK with it. That's fine with me. Damon will send out an email or something. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so what I'll put in the minutes is Peter raised a concern about 23 Cape Road. Uh, Tim, Tim, check on the situation. Right. Tim and Damon will contact the owner and arrange for a site visit next week. Do you have a town email yet? No. Yeah, I did like um Peter, if you uh, you want some company on that trip, let me know. Oh, yeah. 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 There's a it's a good opportunity and it's team building. We used to do it all the time. I miss that. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, point not you, yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, point not you. She needs a town email. Oh, so that's more of it.
a map, mendengov.map, but okay. you need to know how to log into the Outlook thing. So, um, okay, so I'd like to make a, we want that help uh, Do we want to go off to be in the top? Uh, Yeah, hi. So, uh, <laughs> if you don't mind giving us just a uh, brief background. Why you wanted this thankless job. <laughs> <laughs> so time flies when you're having fun. I've been living here for 20 years now. And both my kids went through the system. My son graduated this June, past June. <laughs> my daughter's going to be a senior, so I like to hop in here a lot. What street do you live on? Uh, Four Hopedale Street. Okay in the big construction zone. <laughs> yeah. um, so um, I'm a geologist by training. Um, I'm also doing environmental consulting for a living as a geologist, so I do a little bit of everything. And I'm also a sustainability expert and educator. Um, I have a degree from um, Harvard in um, sustainability and environmental management. So, so basically, I'm still there, one of their lead teaching assistants in the program, the same one I graduated from, so that, that keeps me busy too. But it's mostly like in the fall and the spring, and ends in, ends in May. So. I didn't realize earlier I was just talking about that. Oops. <laughs> well, um, yeah, so you know, I've had a long, I've been in the business for like 25 years, so like, as I was saying before, I've often been like in front of the commission. Yeah, and um, you know, a lot of the permitting I've worked on has been bigger stuff, you know, like maybe energy projects, you know, EIAs and whatnot. And, Stuff like that. So, I do volunteering in addition to all the other things that I do. And I thought that I should become involved at local level for someone. So, you know, and I have a lot of knowledge about the resiliency piece and you know, climate change and all that stuff as part of my studies. And a lot of published papers on it. So, you know, if we need to do, you know, I can work with the to get any grants or whatnot or anything like that too. So, it's been helpful so far. My job too, but I still I still squeeze it in. So if I'm not busy, then I start to slack. So. Okay. <laughs> it's better to be busy. <laughs> Tim, you want to tell tell uh, a little bit about yourself? Uh, right yeah, so um, I've been on the commission for um, okay. years. Um, I was on the other side. I still am a, a lot of times. Um, so I know what you mean, you know. So um, I am also a building commissioner. Um, I am a building commissioner in Bellingham. I, oh, Bellingham. Okay. Yeah, I do work in Menden as well. Um, oh, yeah, Fred. Yep. So um, I live in town. I have a, you know, my, I've been in town for probably, I don't know, I've been in town for about, actually, my son, so 21 years. My son's 21. He was born, and I moved right to town then. So. Oh wow. Did he go through to Menden School? Yeah. Uh, actually, he went through Menden Schools, and then he went to BVT. Okay. Yeah. But I have three boys, so um, some of them. My middle one went to Menden Schools, and then he went to St. John's, and my oldest one went through Menden Schools, and then joined the Marine Corps. So. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. My son's going to Northeastern and fall for oh. engineering. So okay. He's a really mathematical one. Really? That's good. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I did forget to mention my instruction also. Um, my husband's also a builder slash developer, excavation contractor, but he doesn't work in, in this area, so there's no conflict there. So. Well, you want to give a little rundown sure. of your background? Um, moved into town almost 10 years ago now. Um, I think we bumped into each other a couple times at the garden. Yeah, the garden. Yeah, I don't... I wanted to grow corn this year, darn it. <laughs> yeah, that was... We, uh, we both, both Derek and I had uh, some COVID-related job departures and rejoins, so we okay. really kind of had to focus on careers for this year. Um, but yeah, the I don't really have much of a background on this. I do have a background reading technical drawings, and that's about as far as my experience goes. Okay. But I figured hopefully I'll be in town for many more years, so might as well get involved. I spoke with you briefly. I work for a financial services company and I push paperwork and audit people. It turns out I'm a, on the other side of North Avenue from Kevin Meehan's new thing. I'm on 15 Misco Road. And okay. I, I own part of the swamp between my build, my house and the school. And you'll hear more about the plans the school has for building a walkway along there in the next year or so. Oh, that'll be cool. So I moved here about five, six years ago and been on the committee for four years now. Oh, well, where'd you move from? 
Uh, we were renting in Framingham until our last kid finally, by the skin of his teeth, managed to graduate <laughs> from high school, and then we moved out here. Well, let's... Oh. It's not. He's asleep. He is. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Mike. How long have you, how long have you been on the board, Mike? Thirty years. Thirty years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, I've lived in town. Uh, Um, I, uh, you're welcome. Oh, old now, so I'm sort of, I, uh, I enjoy having a seat on the Conservation Commission. And I wouldn't give it up for the world, I enjoy it. My background is I'm in heavy construction. And, uh, Intended for a company that I've been with for 30 years. Uh, Which one's that? I'm a thermal construction. Uh, right now we're out of Plaston, New Hampshire. Uh, and I build uh, sewer treatment plants, water treatment plants, uh, all kinds of heavy, heavy duty industrial mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, great. Any of the port stuff for the offshore wind? Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, there's two uh, wind towers on uh, Mount Wachusa. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. put, I put them there. Oh, cool. Yeah, see you there. years ago. There's one down in uh, the. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah it seems for like the town of, for the town of. Uh, uh, what the hell's the town up there? Boylston. Boylston had a small uh, lattice tower wind farm up there. Mm. We let out, put, put in a couple hundred footers. A couple hundred fifty footers. Yeah, the bases for each one was six hundred and fifty yards of on the on the uh, back side of Mount Wachusett. That was that was interesting. Then right after that, we went down to Otis Air Force Base and did another one for Otis uh, down there. Uh, about fifteen. Oh, like I said, I'm I'm uh, in tune to the what developers do. Yep, same. What the gas company does. <laughs> yeah. We tend to uh, this board. We make it a point to work with the homeowner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Homeowner is it's more than just uh, uh, protecting wetlands and animals. Is it? Fish, turtles, turtles, frogs, salamanders. There's a lot more. There's a lot more to it than that. Sure. You know. Yeah. Um, so we tend to try to work, work, with, work with the homeowner. Nothing that can't be done. Educate them. You know, just educate yeah. them because you know they don't care that. You said the magic words right there. You can do anything as long as you do it correctly and follow the rules. Yeah. So that, well, with that being said, if there's anything else if anybody would like to add? So yeah, about the um, so we're not allowed on any sites unless we're invited. Well, what are the conditions you agree to? I I tend to think if someone made a complaint, if the Ain't made with a smoke sometimes, but you know what? And and on the other side of it, I take complaints and cut them in half until I go and look at it with with most stuff. Right. Because you can't react until you know the right. facts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was just curious because, like, you know, I just my first meeting and whatnot, but I wanted to get somewhat prepared, so I printed off the plans and whatnot. And um, you know, I was thinking about going to the sites and just looking at the site just to instead of just a bird's eye, you know, yeah. just, sure. get a feel for it. 
point of view, if you wrote it as a direct criminal. Well, yeah, I mean, if um, if you know that they have. I haven't done that because I. Yeah, I, I would definitely, you know, after like if we set up a site walk, then we would we would go. But I mean, you can most certainly drive by. Well, yeah, that part you can. Yeah. yeah. And if it's a road, mm -hmm. a public, you know, if it's a road that's open, you can most certainly drive down yeah, the road yeah. too. But we don't, um, even myself. And you just go wandering out no, the plane. No, <laughs> even, just to see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, even in, in my capacity as a okay. building, building official, mm -hmm. I'm not allowed on anyone's property unless I'm invited. Okay. Or unless there's eminent danger, you know, unless there's something that is uh, life safety yeah. threatening. Yeah. And I'd be, if I was called on, I gotta go to court, you know, I'd have to go to court as well. But yeah. so you're allowed to, uh, I'm allowed to go. So if he calls me up and says, hey, my neighbor's doing this and there's no permitting or anything and I'm concerned, I, I would say, could I come in your house and look out your second story window? And if he says yes, fine, I'll, I can go do that, but I can't enter anyone's property. Right, okay. Unless I was invited by a tenant, mm -hmm. a tenant has the right to invite me onto their prop on on the property mm -hmm. that they're renting. You know, so it's kind of this kind of a fine line, but it is documented, so you can read up on it. You know, as far as what you can and can't do. But generally, I just say no. I'm not. You know, unless I'm invited, I don't go. Right. Okay. Yeah. But once well, there is an order of condition, we can go to inspect, right? We don't have to ask permission. Right. Once, once a, a, a fine is made, yep. then we're all set. You guys handle your inspections. You would, you just email the group email to say who wants to go do it, sort of thing. Or? Uh, well, right now, uh, whoever's local and and can do it, it. Yeah, they go. Damon does a lot of them, which probably isn't that fair. I used to do them. I used to do them all. Peter does them too. Whoever's local yeah, and can do it is kind of like on the board. Mm -hmm. They're welcome to go. Oh. You know, I, I'll I'll try to stop on the way home from work. Yeah. And the Sunday morning. Believe it or not, Sunday morning, I used to do a lot on Sunday, early Sunday mornings. Depending on the time, depending on the time of year, like we know Mike can't do them when it's daylight savings because he gets home late. So we'll talk amongst, amongst us and, yeah. and, you know, we've done that for years, you know, with different occupations that people have. Some people travel to Boston, they, you know, over time. We've had a lot of people come, you know, um, different people over time. Not a lot, but. No, um, so we kind of get to know what, who can do what. So if you can, if you can do some, sure, you know, you can, yeah, take, you I, can take them. Yeah, I do a lot of work. There's a lot of them, um, but. I go to the office too, like, yeah. oh, now it's. If he knows he can reach out to you, he will, you know, if you're if able to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, other than that, yeah, we just. Um, Peter, so, you got anything? Uh, no, I should just introduce myself. I've been in town since 87. I married a local girl, Julie Noonan. She used to be do a lot more real estate than she does now. I worked as a water quality extension agent for UMass. And I worked as a park ranger for the Blackstone Valley. And I fix up some old houses. And I have some surveying training. But welcome aboard and some good female energy. We haven't had a woman around for a while. Thank you for taking this on. Okay, um, so with that being said, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. I'll second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Welcome. Good night, Peter.